Do you realize what you've done? Hi guys, I want to talk about Dumb and Dumber, a comedy starring Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. The Fairley Brothers are the directors. It focuses on two lovable losers, Harry and Lloyd. They go on a road trip to return a woman's briefcase. Harry and Lloyd are fun, interesting characters. Yeah, you care about them. You care about what happens to them. Yeah, they're flawed. Everybody's flawed. If this world were perfect, it would have been lame or somewhat lame and boring. Sure, they're dumb, but they're kind-hearted. They're not afraid to piss each other off or other people sometimes, and they're not above backstabbing each other once in a while. Every friendship, every relationship gets problems some all the time. It's random. Lloyd may be lazy, but they're decent workers. They want decent wives. They want to give their life okay. If these characters sucked, well, this movie would have sucked. It would have fallen apart. I can't think of a single movie that has lame main characters and interesting side characters. It's random. If you can name me a movie that has that weird quality, well, go ahead. Tell me. Lauren Hawley plays Mary Swanson, the briefcase's owner. Lloyd and Harry fall for her. Yeah. In fact, um, Lloyd has a crazy fantasy sequence about her while he's driving. Um, coincidentally, Lauren and Jim became a couple. They got married. And sadly, their marriage didn't last. Two criminals are chasing Lloyd and Harry, Mento and Shay. Mento's funny, he's interesting. He's short tempered and violent. Well, we don't see him attack anyone. Well, he does something nasty off screen, don't worry, I won't spoil it. Lloyd and Harry sure drive him mental or crazy. Um, my dad, he finds that scene hilarious. Well, a lot of people find it hilarious. I remember him telling my stepmom and myself about that scene. He was laughing. My dad is a Jehovah's Witness. He doesn't watch a lot of movies. However, he finds this movie hilarious. In fact, he quotes it sometimes. Yeah, I'll give you an example. The town is back that way! Yeah, I told him about the sequel. He, he loves to see it as long as it doesn't have a lot of swearing. This movie's very quotable. Yeah, I know. Quotable dialogue is a common staple element, whatever, in cult movies. I'll give, give you an example. And go where? Where are we going to go? I'll tell you where. Someplace warm. A place where the beer flows like wine. I've seen it maybe eight times. Like a lot of people, I've seen it at a very young age. I was only seven the first time I've seen it. i also seen Speed and True Lies at a very young age. What can I say? Dumb and Dumber is a real treat. Kids can enjoy it, but yeah, it's more for adults. Uh, it's more rewarding for adults. Isn't that weird? Well, what more can I say? I'm glad a sequel is on the way. It's a real surprise. I agree the prequel sucks. I must admit... I somehow liked it at first. I've seen it four times. The last time I watched it, well, I didn't like it anymore. It's just lame. It's weird that I liked it for a while. Sure, there are some funny moments, but that's not saying much, really. The That movie's just a mess. I'm sure the sequel will be way better. Well, I'm kind of surprised. I don't have much more to say. I feel I haven't said much. Well, I want this re review to be two or three minutes long. It may be 20 years old now, but I don't want to spoil it. Well, this movie's a lot of fun. It's hilarious. It's definitely a classic. I know I will watch it at least once more. I give it an A. So tell me, have you seen Dumb and Dumber? Did you like it or hate it? Are you looking forward to the sequel? As always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Harry, you got the crazy look in your eye!